my name is Chauncey, I'm a guitar player here on YouTube. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. So glad to have you here hanging out with me today. On this channel, I like to take a topic, something I struggle with, something I see others around me struggle with, and something I feel led to discuss, write and record a song, shoot a music video, and message, and then we hang and have a little Bible study. If that sounds fun, consider subscribing because I have new content coming out all the time. Stick around because we're starting right now. In this week's installment of Chauncey's Mind, we're talking about love. More importantly, God's love for us. We'll start with the music video, my new song, This Love, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Yeah? Let's get it. love in our lives from our parents family friends and our relationships with spouses boyfriend girlfriends our children what about god's love we all heard and know john 3 16 for god so loved the world he gave his only son but have you ever experienced god's love for yourself 
let me know in the comments. Love is kind of a hard thing for me to talk about because I'm not a very affectionate, very emotional person. I mean, I'm good to people, I treat people with respect, but I don't run around telling people I just met that I love them. We all know people like that, literally. People they just met tell them that they love them, but they're fake. Love just isn't a word I toss around unless I really mean it. In the past, not only did I not love others, I didn't love myself. But after breaking the chains of addiction and depression, tearing down years of emotional walls I put around myself, and inviting God into my heart, life, and soul, I began to feel His love for me and slowly begin to love myself and love others. What about loving our enemies? That's a hard one, right? The Bible says we're supposed to love our enemies, but how are we supposed to do that? Well, we don't have to be in love with them. We don't have to agree with them or be even be best friends, but we can be good to them and we can pray for those who persecute us. Just as God shows mercy to us, we can show mercy to them. Romans 5.8 says, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You see, God doesn't love us because we are perfect. He loves us because he is perfect. Verse 16 says, And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in them. Isaiah 54 10. Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant peace be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. Romans 8 39. Neither height nor depth nor anything in all creation will be able to separate us from the love God has in Jesus Christ our Lord. Psalm 136, 26. Give thanks to the God of heaven. His love endures forever. It's true. Jesus loves you. His love is free for us to receive, but we have to do our part. We have to open the door and invite him into our hearts our minds and our souls. And just like every relationship, you have to nurture it. And as it grows and matures, you will see God working in your life and you will feel the ultimate high of God's love beating in your heart, coursing in your veins, and you will never be the same. And it'll spill into others around you because love is contagious. Thanks for hanging out with me today. You can help me spread this message of God's love by liking and sharing this video. Till next time, I'm Chauncey. This is